In this video, I'll be showing you how to copy content in Windows 11 and then paste it in such a way where it doesn't bring the formatting with it. So if you're used to Windows, you probably know that you can select text and content in a browser or anywhere else and then press Control C to copy that content. And then you can go to any other location. So for example, here I'm creating a new email in Gmail. I can press Control V to paste. And with it, it's gonna bring the photos, the formatting, the links, everything. But let's say I don't want that. Let's say I want just the text. So how do I do that? Well, we can do Control Z to move back quickly and utilize the Control Shift V shortcut. It's just a modifier to the Control V shortcut, basically. So if you do Control Shift V, you paste the text content only. It strips it of all formatting. Now, another good example would be if we go to this tab right here and select this instead, and then go back to our email. If I press Control V here, all the links come with it. If I go back by pressing Control Z and then press Control Shift V, then you'll see that only the text is here. However, you'll notice there's some artifacts because if we go back to the original article here, it actually had two and it had A here. So this is superscript. It's actual text. So when you press Control Shift V, it still keeps that text, but it doesn't look like superscript anymore because that was handled by formatting. So it's just something to keep in mind. And I also wanted to show you how this interacted with other applications in Windows. So for example, if we undo this and instead we pop up Notepad, and then if I press Control V here, not Shift V, okay, Control V, what happens? Well, there's no formatting. Is it that I copied this version? No, I copied the one that has formatting. Look at this, Control V, right? So why is this happening? Well, it's simply because Notepad doesn't support formatting. So in fact, in the past, I used to paste stuff into Notepad, then Control A, Control C, Control V elsewhere to not bring the formatting with it. But since Control Shift V exists, I've never had to do that anymore. So there's one more interaction I wanted to show you, and it's with Microsoft Word, generally just Microsoft 365 products. So if I launch Word like this, you'll notice I have a fresh new document. If I press Control V here, you'll notice all the formatting is here. Okay, this is expected, but what's different here is this little control feature here that popped up, right? It has a little paste icon and it says control. What does this do? So if you left click it, you'll see that there's a few different options. Let's start on the left first, where it says paste options. So the left one says keep source formatting. That means that the formatting that appeared in the browser where I copied my text is what's gonna be reflected here in Word exactly. The second option is merge formatting. This is where it's gonna try and find a mix of the two. So it's gonna be inspired by what was in the browser, what we saw in the browser, and then also making it better match the style of your document. And then there's use destination styles. This means that forget the formatting in the browser, match the formatting in this document. So right now I don't really have any styles defined, so probably Word doesn't know exactly what to do, so it's, it's doing whatever it thinks is best. And then we have the fourth option here, which is keep text only. This is the same thing that we do when we press Control shift v it's just that word is exposing it in this different way when i was reviewing these i was just hovering my mouse over them that's because word gives you a live preview of what will occur if you click now if i actually went ahead and clicked it actually commits to the choice and as you can see here there's also a set default paste so if we click this we can then scroll down to a section that says cut copy paste and this gives us control in different scenarios about what the default paste should be I don't personally mess with this because if I really want to have just text, I'm gonna do Control Shift V, I've got that habit. And if I want different behavior, I know that I can use the little feature here in Word that pops up to make that decision. But anyway, I hope this shortcut improves your life a little bit. Once I learned it, I never went back.